when you come into the room, make sure that your gown is away from the sterile field. You don't wish to come in with dripping arms and drip on a sterile field. You also don't want to be dripping on the sterile field that you've created with your gown and your gloves. You approach your sterile field and you reach over to the towel. You lift it up and back away from the field and you will need to lean slightly forward in order to dry your arms so that the towel doesn't bump up against your scrub suit. Open the towel. I'm right-handed, so I place the towel in my right hand and begin drying my left. Notice that as I dry, I don't backtrack. I don't go back to the place I've just dried. Notice also that the bottom of the towel is not hitting my scrub suit. Bring your left hand or your other hand underneath where the dried part of the towel is and do your other arm. Again, starting with the fingers, take your time, work your way up the arm and avoid bumping the towel against your scrub suit. Give the towel to the circulator, put it in a trash can, do not wander around with it, but do not throw it on the floor. The next step is take a look at your gown and see where it is. Never put your hands underneath because you don't know if that paper's been ripped um, when you opened it. You didn't see the bottom end of that. And you don't want to um, find out that your gown is contaminated. And if you can't see what it is you're grabbing, you may end up contaminating your hands and having to repeat your, sterile, your surgical hand scrub all over again. So grab the gown, lift it up and away from your sterile field. Notice that my gloves didn't go too far. They're still in the sterile field. And have a look at your gown. This part is the collar. Okay, so if you end up opening it upside down, that's what's going to happen. You'll have the neck down toward your feet. You want to open it so the collar is upright. Notice there's a white band. These are the armholes. You want it, the gown facing so you can fit your hands in the armholes. You open it and let it drop. You may very gently give it a little push, but do not do this. Slide your arms in. Keep an eye on where your arms are going and place it up over your shoulders. There may not be somebody to immediately tie you in, but what will happen is there are some string ties on the inside of these gowns, and someone will come behind you and tie you in. Once your waist has been tied in, you may not be tied around the neck because you need to keep your hands in front of you in an imaginary box. Think of it nipples to navel and not too much on the side. Keep your hands in front of you so you can see what you're doing and you want to keep your fingers above the white cuff. Okay, you need to consider the white cuff as being unsterile once the gloves go on. An easy way to take care of putting your gloves on by yourself, <coughs> take your package and you notice it has the name Encore with seven on it. Turn the package upside down so the fingertips of the gloves point towards you. Notice the left and the right are upside down. Open up the package. Notice I'm not using the cuff part. I'm using the blue part of the gown above the cuff to open this. And I'm watching where my hands are at all times. Now, in the packaging, can you see the thumb? There's the thumb here, and my thumb for my right hand is here. So I place thumb to thumb, and the cuff of the glove, the inside cuff, matches the white cuff on the gown. I grab a hold of the cuff of the glove with my right hand. I also do the same on the opposite side of the cuff with my left hand. 
I open it up, and as I'm opening it up, I'm pushing my right hand through the cuff and putting my glove over my fingers. Okay. Notice that my hand never came through this cuff, and it should never come through the cuff until you have the glove over it. Thumb to thumb. The thumb of the glove is here. My thumb is here. I have the cuff, I've grasped the cuff with the blue part of my gown, the opposite side with my glove hand this time. Again, I open it up, and as I open up the glove, I put my hand through. And now I have my sterile gloves on. Once you have this pair of gloves on, it doesn't matter whether these are upside down or right side up. You just put them on and just be careful that you don't contaminate yourself. Notice that when I'm putting on these gloves, I'm not playing around with the papers. Once you're done with this field, you leave it. At some point, someone will tie in the neck part of your gown and help you. And when you're done, what you, when that's done, what you need to do next is, with your left hand, you grab a hold of the tag that's on the side of the gown, and then this little card piece. Notice there's a blue and a white, and you can either hand this to another scrubs person in turn, or you can also hand it to somebody who's not in scrubs. And what they'll do is they'll hold on to that little card, you spin, you grab a hold, and the first and last time you touch the side of your gown until the end of the case is now. You tie this in a bow, and then put your hands like so. You're considered sterile from fingertips to two inches above the elbow, just like the landmarks that you had when you scrubbed your hands. You're considered sterile at the field from the top of the table or the bed, the OR bed, where it's designated wherever the surgical area is to approximately your collarbones. But if you think nipples to navel and this square area here, then you're safe. When your hands are not in use with instrumentation, keep them folded. Do not put your hands on the mirror stand. You can get hurt. This is a working table for the operating room team. And the scrub nurse is handling sharks often from this table. And you do not want to lean on this or handle it in any way. So keep your hands folded when not in use. So once the sterile field has been established over the patient, in other words, the drapes have been placed. In this case, this is, patient is draped for an exploratory laparotomy. Notice there's an opening here for that. Once the patient is all set and the furniture is where it needs to be, then you would come forward and ask uh, the attending or the resident where would be the best place to stand. The scrub person stands behind the mayor's stand. So as I told you earlier, it's very important that you don't lean on this working table. Approach the field like so, wherever you're asked to be. Keep your hands folded on your stomach or right under your, your um, nipple line. And stay put. Notice that the sterile field is defined by the horizontal surfaces. In this case, the patient, the top of the mass stand. This is called a back table, the top of the back table. And notice that I'm not moving my hands way back out of my line of vision. They're always in front of me when I move. So keep your hands where you can see them in front of you and folded when you're not holding a retractor or doing something for a surgeon or the nurse. When you move around the field, you always face the field. This may feel strange at first, but it's very important that you do so because, as I've explained to you earlier, only, the only part of your gown that's sterile is this front part. And if you turn the unsterile back of your gown to a sterile field, you can't see what you've touched or not touched, and it would be considered that you contaminated the field.
avoid playing with things. Okay, you don't know what's laying on these drapes, and um, as the case begins, there will be many things attached to the drapes, and it behooves you to stand back and watch, and then step forward as you're invited to do so. Don't touch things like this. I've contaminated my gloves. Normally, there are sterile caps that are up over these light handles. We didn't put them on today, but you will not even be invited to touch those. So keep your hands where they need to be, right in front of you. At the end of the case, just when you think you don't have to do anything else and you can just leave, that's not so. You even have to take off your gown in a certain way to keep yourself safe and to make sure that, that the contaminants that are on your gloves and gowns are properly contained. The first thing we do is the place that you tied on this gown, you untie. If you have trouble taking off this gown yourself, all you can ask for help. Just like when the circulator or someone else who was not in sterile attire um, tied you in, they can untie you as well. If no one's around to help you, pull the gown smartly forward and pop the string that was on the inside of the gown. Then pull down and forward. So you pop the Velcro neck piece, roll the gown over the gloves, but leave your gloves on. Make sure the gown, or the gown goes into trash. Always remove your gloves last. Dirty to dirty, clean to clean. Go underneath dirty part. And then clean to clean, like so. And then you may discard these. And do not forget to wash your hands when all is said and done.